Hello and welcome to The Moorish Gourmet. I'm Mike, thanks for joining me. Today I'm gonna to be talking about the Breville Dual Boiler. Uh, this is the BES 900XL, it's the older model of the Dual Boiler. I did a mod on this machine. I installed a Bluetooth pressure transducer uh, into uh, the hot water spout. And the reason I did that was because I did the Slayer mod on this machine. If you don't know what the Slayer mod is, uh, basically, uh, I can control the flow coming out of the group head with the needle valve that used to control the hot water spout. And I needed to plug up the hot water spout after I did that mod so that it doesn't flow when I pull shots. And it's usually recommended to plug this up with a piece of silicone, but I wanted to do, um, I wanted to plug it up with something a little bit more functional than a piece of silicone. So I did the Bluetooth pressure transducer. And I said in my last video that I used an app called Espresso Log that was available on the Google Play Store. Uh, that was an older video. Um, I actually recorded that back in 2000, 2024. And it was true in 2024 that that app was available on the Google Play Store. Uh, unfortunately, uh, now in 2025, that is not the case. Uh, and th that app has no support. And this device will no longer be recognized by that app on my Android. I can pair the device to my Android via Bluetooth. Uh, the Android device sees it just fine but I can't use the app with it. I can't even use the native app to this device, TE Sensor Connect. I don't know why. I don't know if maybe it's my battery. I don't know if it's the device itself. I don't know if it's my Android device. I don't know if there's something wrong with the apps. I don't know. Uh, so instead of struggling to troubleshoot this thing, instead of trying to figure out what's wrong with it, I'm gonna take it off and instead, I'm going to install my Smart Espresso Profiler Bluetooth transducer. I mentioned in my last video that this lived on my Flare 58. It did, I never used it. I did, I used, it, I used the heck out of it when I first installed it. I used to track my pressure on, uh, on my SE Profiler app, and then I just did it by feel. It's a lever machine and you kind of just get the sense of how it feels when you're pulling a shot. So I stopped opening up the app when I would pull espresso shots on it. Here it is. I'm going to put it onto the Breville instead. So let's go ahead and take this off and put this one on really quick. You can see on here, there's an adapter. I have an adapter on here because this is a one eighth male. Uh, this is the European standard. I forget what uh, what it's called, but it is a one eighth. This is the American NPT standard. This is a one eighth. It does fit. It fits. This is a one quarter male NPT fitting. And this Bluetooth pressure transducer has also a one quarter NPT fitting. I needed this adapter to fit into here. If you saw my last video, I did mention that I kind of Mickey Mouse this fitting. This is actually a part of a compression fitting. The thread spacing on the male end of this match the thread spacing of the four hole nozzle that used to fit into the hot water spout. It was the only adapter that I found that matched that thread spacing. This adapter was a little bit wider than that nozzle. So I had to force it in there a little bit. It was really tight, but it, it didn't cross threads. And that's really what I was after. So it won't leak. It hasn't leaked. So let's go ahead and uninstall that old pressure transducer. All right, let's fire it up. Mm. 
So you can see on this pull right here, it ran fast. Uh, but even though you can still see on the SE Profiler app, the pressure curve responding to my input via the needle valve. So for the second shot, I ground finer because the first shot ran so fast. And I probably ground too fine because I choked the shot. But because I choked the shot, you can see how the pressure curve goes up and down and up and down as I turn the knob to the needle valve up and down and up and down. So the SE Profiler app, it shows you that profile curve responding live to my inputs. By the third shot, I never quite got these beans dialed in. I ground two clicks coarser on the K-Ultra because the shot choked so bad on the second shot. Uh, I went too coarse again. I uh, probably should have just done one click down. Um, it ran fast, not as fast as the first one. It could have been my puck prep too. Uh, I, I actually think that uh, you can see on the profile uh, on the pressure curve, it actually does hit uh, a pretty decent pressure at the beginning, and then I dialed it down. Um, and then I wanted to ramp back up again, but when I tried to ramp up, it never quite got back its pressure. Uh, so I think the uh, puck started to channel, and uh, there was puck degradation, and it ran too fast. Uh, the shot wasn't that bad. It was okay. <laughs> I can't get it. Never quite got it dialed in, but this is where I'm going to call it for tonight. Um, yeah, I can't get it. But anyway, that's how the SE Profiler app and the uh, Smart Espresso Profiler transducer, that's how it all works. I'm going to leave it here. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.